Hello, YouTube. So this is what I'm going to fabricate today. I built this dump trailer a couple of years ago. Been a real good dump trailer. It's uh, got low speed axles on and uh, it's not made for the road, just made for the, the farm here. So but I abused it pretty good and bent this hitch right here. You can see where it's, it's been bending right here and pulling off because yeah, I tend to overload it and uh, oh, it hauls quite a bit of dirt. I put an end gate on it, I can heap it right up and uh, it get bouncing across some unlevel ground. And the other day, I mustn't have had this latched good enough and it I uh, started dumping the load when I was moving and it popped up and bounced off the ball and I almost pulled my lines apart so I'm gonna make a tongue hitch get rid of the ball and just go with a tongue hitch but I wanted to swivel a bit so that's my project today so let's get at her all right here's Kind of what I had planned. I got uh, a one inch bolt going through two pieces here. Which I think that's half inch metal. I'm going to uh, weld that so the nut doesn't come loose. And then weld that on like so. And then I'm gonna put the tongue right here. All right, here's where I'm at so far. Uh, got that welded on. That bolt is solid welded in there. I should have, I should have enough play up and down this way, but I want to, the swivel part. I drilled a hole, put a grease nipple in there. The, Grease will come out of there and it'll it'll lube this other face up that slides right here and it'll pivot like this. Then I'll weld oh, I don't know probably a six inch piece to fit over top here. And I'm gonna weld these uh, two pieces on the side here for extra strength. It'll still give it enough room to pivot like this. So. It's the way I should have built it in the first place instead of putting a ball hitch on. So this will make it a lot easier to hook up instead of trying to jack it up and down on the ball. All right. So here's where I'm at. I got the, the nut on there and I tacked it to the bolt. So this part turns, right? When the wagon goes side to side. So I'm just gonna hammer this on. It'll slide in there and then I'll put a piece of metal right here, like I did this part. So it'll just get a little more strength. And I'm done. Okay, she's ready for paint. Uh, turned out pretty good. I kind of will definitely be a little bit stronger than that ball hitch. Be easier to hook up. And uh, the pin's a little smaller, which is okay, because it'll move a little bit that way. But see swivels pretty good i'll tighten that grease nipple in there and give her a shot of grease and some paint and uh, road test okay i give it a pretty good road test uh, what i like about it you gotta you can just back right into the hitch without uh, cranking it up and down to get it over top the the ball that i had on there so yeah, we got a pretty good load of dirt. Uh, we'll take it to the cabin site and see how it goes. So yeah, if you ever build a, 
one of these little dump trailers, I, I would suggest just going with a tongue hitch instead of a ball hitch. And, and people are scared to take their vehicle across my bridge. I don't know. Couple more loads up here at the cabin site. I just gotta get a little more flat right where the cabin's gonna be. So I got the, uh, I brung some black dirt from down in the, the valley there up here and I'm gonna, gonna get this level. can't really tell how much it slopes but uh, gotta come out to this tree I'm standing on the deck right here of the cabin so uh, maybe eight foot deck something like that uh, what are we October 16 somewhere there Sunday beautiful day in central Alberta leaves are all gone yeah, grass is still green. Golfing tomorrow, I don't like that. So this is where it's going to happen. This is where uh, I'm going to build a cabin, and I'm going to do a lot of things here. I don't know if you can hear that. Huh? Geese are flying south. It's that time of year.